It's a wonderful phrase that the late Australian political philosopher Ken Minow came up with. He identified a certain type of person who is keen on the, the revolutionary attitude, keen to be at the barricades. He called it St. George in retirement syndrome. St. George, after slaying the dragon and getting all the acclaim of slaying the dragon, might, might be tempted to, to go around the land finding more dragons. More dragons to slay. And there being a deficit of dragons in the land, might end up swinging his sword at smaller and smaller beasts until eventually he might be found swinging his sword at thin air. Well, I don't say that there's no dragon-like thing left to stay in our society. I don't say that everything's perfect, but there is a lot in that, in the, in the febrile, furious atmosphere of our times. When things have never been better, they're portrayed as if they've never been worse. In the febrile, furious atmosphere of our times. When things have never been better, they're portrayed as if they've never been worse. And this this idea, I understand why people wish they'd been with Martin Luther King, with March on Washington. I have a few friends who were there. They tell me about it like, you know, it's fantastic, it's just thrilling in the telling. I understand that people might want to be there. I understand that some people wish they'd been at the Stonewall Inn. You know? I get that. But I would urge that instead of thinking, therefore, I will fight as hard now as they did then, even if the stakes are minimal or non-existent, I would say, why not just enjoy the fruits of your predecessor's legacy and bravery and do something better with your life now? St. George, after slaying the dragon and getting all the acclaim of slaying the dragon, might, might be tempted to, to go around the land finding more dragons, more dragons to destroy. And there being a deficit of dragons in the land, might end up swinging his sword at smaller and smaller beasts. After slaying the dragon and getting all the acclaim of slaying the dragon, he might, might be tempted to, to go around the land finding more dragons, more dragons to destroy. There being a deficit of dragons in the land might end up swinging his sword at smaller and smaller beasts until eventually he might be found swinging his sword at thin air. Swinging his sword at thin air. Swinging his sword at thin air. our time is an audition after the fact to be right in the center of the melody.